Hello Dallas and thank you for watching Desi Plaza TV and this is Anu and today we have face to face Dr. Prakash Rao in the studio and I have a very important question for him that probably we all must know and he is a prominent teacher and uh, really a great scholar in learning or teaching Hinduism and we learn so many things from him whether it is regarding why we chant mantra or what are the strict ways that and how we follow the Hinduism. He has extensive knowledge about Hinduism and uh, recently I think one of the events that we need to talk about is a petition against TV9. Dr. Prakasha, welcome and thank you thank so much you. for joining. Thank and uh, today's question uh, for you is, recently you have filed a petition against yes. TV9. Yes, yes. So we would like to know what happened, what is it that we want to know about? Yeah, this is a very interesting um, uh, episode uh, in our Hindu life. Um, about a week ago, uh, there is a, a highly eminent speaker, scholar, um, Sri Chaganti Kote Garu. He was giving a lecture on Lord Krishna. And he was giving that lecture and in that one, so he mentioned uh, some Telugu word by which he says, you know, you know, the, uh, because Lord Krishna comes from Yadav community. Mm -hmm. So, he made a statement, basically it can be interpreted either way, okay. In a sense, you know, if, they, if, they, if they wash their feet, they may not be able to wash the bottom. If they wash the bottom, they may not be able to wash the face, something to that effect. And from that particular community, the, all the Yadav communities have grown and then protected the cows they pasteurized the cows and then the Krishna came into existence and he became the leader and he became the Jagat Guru of the entire universe. So his intention in that one was basically he came from such an innocent community sure. from that age who is loving, who has compassion and from that particular community he has grown up mm -hmm. all the way to Jagat Guru. So he wanted to mention that particular thing rather than anything else. Because sometimes what happens, whenever we like somebody, sometimes we use somewhat what we call abusive words. Not to use the, not to abuse not it. Not in the but context. Exactly. But See, in, in Telugu, mm -hmm. so we will say, if somebody is doing real great job and good job, he is a madman. Mm -hmm. But you see, if you take that one literally and see, you yeah. call them madman, mm -hmm. is that what you are saying? Mm -hmm. So this is how the TV9 has interpreted mm -hmm. and then started just sending this one almost many, many, several times a day. Mm -hmm. The following day itself, that is Jagant Kotes Ravgaru, so he apologized about eight or nine the other community leaders went to his house and then he apologized it. He did not mean it because you see what he, his intention was from a, such an innocent group of people, the Lord has born and he became Jagat Guru. It was that intention rather than anything else. But these people have twisted the whole thing. Now, after you give an apology, at least you should stop showing maybe one time, that's fine, two times, that's fine, four times, that's fine. But every day they keep on showing several times to pray probably provoke, from, provoke, provoke Hindus, mm -hmm. create hatredness, sure. foment some kind of animosity among Hindus itself. Sure. So that is the target of TV9. Okay. Because I have seen four or five years ago, mm -hmm. he showed so many negative things about different Swamiji's. Sure. But he never showed a single thing about true. about either Muslims or the Christians. Sure. So that means they are above all these things. Mm -hmm. Is this what TV9 thinks? Correct. Okay. So our point is, so they should have stopped right after he gave the apology. Mm -hmm. Instead of that one, they kept on showing it in order to create more animosity among themselves. So then misinterpreting mis and misguiding. Mis misinterpret, twisted the whole meaning of sure. that one. Okay. okay. Now. If you have done that many times, let us say 50 times, whatever they have shown, mm -hmm. but did you show the same thing when some other things happened? Like I will give you three examples. Mm -hmm. About uh, a week ago, mm -hmm. one mullah actually 
declared a fatwa against Narendra Modi, who is the Prime Minister of India, saying, if anybody blacken his face and then shave his beard, he will give 25, 25 lakh rupees. Did they ever say anything? Very demeaning. Very We are talking about the Prime Minister, Prime Minister the head the of the country. Of our country. Did right. they show even once? Did Correct. they say anything about that one? Did they criticize the mullah mm -hmm. who did it? Mm -hmm. They are all scared of these people. There is, an, In fact, I would say mm -hmm. there is a depth of dialogue and freedom in India now. You can't talk about religion. You can't talk about your community. You can't talk about anything. Mm -hmm. Because the, everybody claims it is a secular country. When it is a secular country, then why you give all the incentives to the, all these minorities? Why you pump all the money to these people? What about the freedom of speech? Freedom of speech is not there. Even yeah, only yesterday, uh, the election commissioner said nobody should be talking about religion. Nobody should be talking about the caste system when you are campaigning. Mm -hmm. Here, if we have a look at our um, elections in the United States, the Trump openly says, I am going to destroy the ISIS, no matter where they are. Mm -hmm. Tell me one person who can say anything like that one in India. Mm -hmm. They don't have freedom. Mm -hmm. This secular concept, mm -hmm. the appeasement of the minorities is destroying India. Mm -hmm. So I will give you another example why I am saying. So the, he showed so many times mm -hmm. in order to antagonize the Hindus. So what, why did they say anything about this mullah who actually declared fatwa against uh, a prime minister? In the same way, there is a gentleman by the name Akbaruddin Wawawsi from Hyderabad itself. So he said, remove police for 15 minutes. I will kill, I will, we will kill 100 crore Hindus. Okay? Openly. L openly. Where is this TV channel 9 and other channels? Did they ever say anything about it? How often did they say? Did they compare these things to this one? Do we know why they are protecting or why they are avoiding this? It's very simple. They are scared. Okay. They can't open it. They cannot open their mouth. Mm -hmm. They are at their peril, actually. So yeah. everything is dominated by other religions. Mm -hmm. No government is able to openly talk about all the atrocities the other communities are doing it. Like the way the um, Trump mentioned, mm -hmm. tell me one politician who can do it. So you're saying that you should be bold enough. You should bold be prominent. You, you have to. And right. in the same way, there is one Elijah, you know, Kanchan Elijah professor. So he even demeaned Lord Krishna, mm -hmm. saying he is, you know, a sexual pervert, and then he is not oh, even Yadav community. All kinds of things. Correct. But did they ever show all these things? No. How often did they show? This one they have showed probably 50, 60 times. Did they ever show at least three, four times any of these things? You don't think any personal agenda is involved in this one for just a particular... You see, this is like what is called yellow journalism. Okay. They are only interested in money, uh -huh. money, uh -huh. money. Okay. There is no... Even though their websites talk about the integrity, credibility, <laughs> unbiased opinion, tell me, even a blind person can see mm -hmm. what, they are, what they are saying. Correct. A dumb can hear what they are talking about. Right. See, they, they, they have crew. They are only interested in the money. Mm -hmm. They are in that um, in a glass mm -hmm. um, domes, mm -hmm. and they, that's all they want to. As okay. long as they are making money, as long as they can find something to antagonize Hindus, mm -hmm. they are ready to do it. They, but the end result is, mm -hmm. once they destroy Hinduism, mm -hmm. where do they go from? Correct. Their, their existence is in peril. Correct. They don't realize it. But what they think is they are only interested in this right now, how much money we will make. That's so all they are what, what do you think they should do to just, you know, even to get this one fixed or even what is your message? What is your suggestion? My message is very simple. Uh -huh. It is you need to have some soul searching in your own self. What am I doing showing 50 times about this thing? Why I am showing 50 times? Why I am not so showing mm -hmm. 50 times about the mullah who, mm -hmm. who declared fatwa against the Prime Minister? Why only this should be shown this and not that one? Yeah, then, so if you want to bring, bring both bring of both. them. Bring both. And right. then wow, see when he says he can kill 100, 100 crores of Hindus. Correct. 
where is this channel? Why it is not talking openly about this one? Correct. So, and so you may talk one or two times, but mm -hmm. why not 50 times the way you say? Sure. Just for one single statement, Correct. an innocent statement, and twi they have twisted the whole meaning of that sentence and then started bombarding and then trying to create the animosity okay. in order to see that the Hinduism is destroyed. destroyed. That is their goal. Correct. That is the reason we send this petition saying uh -huh. that this is a twisted twisted statement. Mm -hmm. They are abusing the whole system. Okay. They are abusing their freedom of uh, press. Mm -hmm. They are abusing their un unbiased uh, reporting. Mm -hmm. So, uh, somebody has to be accountable for it. Correct. And even the governments do not interfere with these right. things, which it does not uh, understand. I do not understand this logic. Okay. Probably it, that is a very small issue that is what is considered as and then maybe yeah, that but, was ignored completely. But you see, when you look at the election commission saying you can't talk about religion and then caste, uh -huh. then why can't they say that you can't show this many things, you cannot antagonize it. Correct. And you see, freedom of press, right. we, we agree, right. but there is also limit. Right. There is responsibility that goes with it. Correct. There is morality that goes with it. There is integrity that goes with it. Mm -hmm. There is credibility that goes with it. Where is it? So, you are your own judge. Mm. You make your own decision. You decide what is right. Who else? No other no person No one is involved in this no, one. Or no, no, but nobody is able to even get to them or talk to them or Correct. suggest. There is no independent organization even to assess what is wrong, what is right, how they, we can improve it. But it is really great to know, Dr. Rao, that you came forward, took the first step to do something about it yeah. instead of just, you know, sitting. And uh, thank you so much right. for sharing this information with our viewers. And yeah. hopefully, you will definitely get the right answer and all the things will go in the right direction. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, definitely you can reach us. And uh, is there any website or anything that if they have a questions or any support that they, they, they want? They to can be? call me. They can just go to our website, savetemples.org. Save and if they have any questions, they can just send uh, their questions. So I'll be happy to answer whatever questions they may have. Well, thank you so much yeah. for watching. Face to face with Dr. Prakash Rao. We'll bring some more information in our next episode. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Stay tuned.